Expect more tourists coming into Grand Bahama over the next several months and into the new year. So says Tourism Minister Obi Wilshkam, who told our news team today that several initiatives are on tap for the island, among them more airlift and cruises from around the world. We know that beginning this November we'll have direct flights to Grand Bahama out of Vancouver and that is significant. Delta is also providing new airlift for us in Grand Bahama now. We feel very good about that. And there'll be a new cruise ship coming into Grand Bahama later this year. So there are a number of things happening. Now, just yesterday, we reported that the island has seen growth in hotel occupancy levels over the past six months. According to the latest data released by the Department of Statistics, between January and July 2013, 136,262 rooms were occupied in Grand Bahama. While in the same period in 2013, 2014, 203,446 rooms were filled. And Minister Wilshkom says these numbers have already proven to be beneficial to people living on the island. We want to get the unemployment numbers down considerably. We want to ensure that our occupancy levels in Grand Bahama remain, remain at around 75, 80 percent. We want to make sure room revenue continues to increase and, of course, jobs uh, are created. So Grand Bahama is doing quite well. Uh, we feel good about it. But as I've said to you before, um, we have a lot of work to do. We believe that we'll have total recovery in the tourism industry by next year. Uh, our numbers throughout the country are doing much better, but to get the numbers the way we want from January to December, it's going to take a couple more months of hard work, and I feel very good about the team. Now, Mr. Wilshkom, who also serves as the MP for West Grand Bahama, had this message for Grand Bahamians. Truth of the matter is, Grand Bahama's been hurting since the hurricanes of 2004. It's taken a long while to get back to where we are, but we see light at the end of the tunnel. For JCN News, I'm Sasha Lightbourne.